Let's not go there. Not, not Larry Bird. Uh, oh, you know. You I'm know. Magic Johnson. What, what did Magic Johnson do to Larry Bird? I remember. How about the 84 finals? I tell you Steve? this much. What Magic did to Bird, I'm going to do to him finals? April 4th. Right here on first take. Magic should have never came back. He should have never came back. Magic, you better be nervous, bro. Oh. You better be nervous. This challenging Magic Johnson. Well, it's, it's embarrassing. Oh, I, feel, it's I feel sad yes. for him. It's the embarrassing. Winston, the yes. Winston-Salem yes. flash he, challenging his the Magic His irrational oh, no, confidence. No, no, no. This ain't the basketball court. This is the debate show. Impressive. Basketball court. Oh, hell no. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, Blue I am the Magic of debate. I'm the Magic of debate. Oh, you're not yes. an immortal. You're not an immortal yet. Settle and down. But you are. Easy. But you yeah. are very, you're very good. The magic you're not the first take. Yeah, you're an all-time great. Give it a couple more years. All right. We're getting mm -hmm. yelled at by Ryan. Uh, Stephen A's in Memphis with the countdown crew as the Grizz host the Nets tonight. But the Grizzlies will be without their best player, John Morant. Jaws been ruled out due to a knee injury. Here's Malika Andrews with him. Morant. In transition. Oh, John Morant! Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Fun seems to kind of be your game. It seems to be your trash talk. It seems to be, I mean, do you take pride in that? I feel like, you know, just Memphis. You know, I feel like that's, you know, our identity. Um, starting, you know, with the grid and grind era. Um, and now to ours. You know, we, we took on that, you know, that role, uh, that mindset to, you know, be like those guys and you know no matter what we're doing out there on the floor you know we're going to play hard and you know we're going to you know be very aggressive physical and you know we'll let you hear about it there's this photo that was taken over all-star weekend it's of you steph dwayne wade ray allen what was it like to be standing with those guys what were you thinking definitely you know it was, it was kind of surreal you know to even you know just be a part of it uh, and actually you know get to witness that and um, you know, their message was, it's a lot of room up there for me. Uh, so, you know, that gave me confidence and definitely, you know, uh, some motivation to, you know, go be on that stage. You know, Russo, Memphis is the place to be. Who's who of the NBA today? ESPN going Grizzlies all access. We have NBA Today live from there. Malika Andrews will obviously be their big perk. RJ Cheney, the whole crew. And then NBA countdown later till tip off. That's with Michael Eves, Will Bond, Jalen, and of course, our pal. Yeah, and of course, Stephen A as well. Brooklyn, Memphis, going to be a good game. So that'll be a lot of fun down there. Uh, so, Ja obviously has been on a tear this season. And Stephen A said a few weeks ago that he could be the next AI. Russo, do you agree with him that Ja could be the next Allen Iverson? He's better than Allen Iverson. I mean, because he makes a lot of people around him better. I mean, Iverson was a wonderful competitor, and he was a you know, he's a Hall of Famer, mm -hmm. but he's not a transcendent star. He's not a guy that is going to make a cast what? of characters around him on this level. Morant can do that. Iverson was a poor shooter, and he was a bad three-point shooter, and he was not great if you look at his shooting percentages in the huge game. Now, listen, he's a Hall of Famer. Nobody's arguing that. He led yeah. the league in scoring the whole nine yards. Morant has got that special quality yeah. that has a tendency to make... A lot of those guys in that team who want Dylan Brooks, who want great players, to rise them to a level. And he's in a better conference than Iverson was in the old Eastern Conference, which was never great when he played there in the late 90s and the early 2000s. If you're asking me right now, yeah. who is going to have a better career and who's going to be more transcendent in the yeah. NBA, it's not even a contest. Morant is going to be much better than Allen Iverson. Not I'm even not a contest. Iverson. I'm not knocking Allen Not, not even a contest. Iverson. Is somebody talking? Oh, oh a second. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? What? I, what? I, you came on this show to dispute that blasphemy? Have you? What? 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 Let me tell you something, Doggy. Doggy, 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 if I was in there, uh, listen, 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 listen. I'm going to get after this break. I'm warning you right now. I'm going to give you a uh, after, after this break, I'm going to call South Street Seaport. I'm going to call security to have you removed from this studio. I can't believe what you just said. You're Alan acting like Iverson. you're going to disrespect Alan Iverson. The answer, the dude. Uh, the, what? What? Listen, listen. Didn't you start off this show by telling us to pump the brakes? I sat up there and I talked about get the Elvis billboards down, damn it, and put John Moran up. You defended Elvis, but you go knock Alan Iverson. 
Iverson, have you lost your oh, ever-loving no, no, no. mind? Allen Iverson, excuse time me, excuse out. me. What? What? Time out? What? Time out? What? Alan what are you Iverson, talking he's about? A 40% post, he's a 40% shooter in postseason. He's 31% from three. 42. He played the what? one final and got annihilated out, by out, the out, Lakers. Out, time out, Let's time take out, it easy. Time out, time out, time out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Allow me to speak. I'm going to calm down because I was shivering with the blasphemy that you were spewing. But let me get Where's this straight. He? So Where's we can me? look. Yeah. No, no, no. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. All right. When we were talking about Jerry West, Jerry West is not a part of this conversation. Don't twist it. But when we were talking about Jerry West last week, I brought up the fact that the man had lost eight finals. He won one. You said, so what? It's not about the numbers. It's about what I saw with my eyes, Stevie. It's about what I saw with my eyes, Stevie. That's I what you said. said. That's what you, you brought up Cousy. You, you brought up Bob Cousy. It's about what I saw with my eyes, Cousy. Stevie. It's what I saw with my eyes. Even though he had Russell and Havlicek and all I of these boys, Sam I Jones and them as his teammates. That's what you said, okay? Now, we started off the show, and I sat up there, and I said about John Morant, because number love and respect for John Morant, you sat up there and said to hell with him. I love Elvis. That's what you said. Now, here we go to Allen. Iverson. This is a six-foot guard, 160 pounds, soaking wet. Who did he play with, doggy? He was a one-man wrecking crew. He loved it went that way. Ten straight years. At, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let me finish. He went ten straight years, averaging more than 26 a game. At least, how many seasons did he average over 30? One, two, three, four years. He averaged over 30 a game. Everybody was coming at him. He was a one-man wrecking crew. Yeah, you're going to point to the percentage. How many big oh. moments did he show up? There was oh. a lot. You can't count oh, He was a man. The man was a miniature dynamo in a land of giants going up oh. against giants. Don't give me oh. some statistics. What did your eyes tell you? The answer, he's a Hall of Famer for a reason, doggy. Well, we he's he's a Hall of And guess what? I'm not saying. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Excuse me. No, what I'm saying to you, listen, the only thing that stopped him from capturing the championship was Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe had to stop him. He took out big dog Glenn Robinson, Sam Cassell, Ray Allen. He took out Vince Carter, okay? Remember that? He did do that. This Vince is Allen Carter. Iverson that we're talking about here, okay? Glenn and all, all I'm saying to you is this. John... John ja, ja Morant, well Glenn, well, Glenn Robinson could score. Good player, I mean, but he's not a Hall score. of Famer. Nah, give him credit with credit. Give him credit. I understand that. But I was talking about their team, their crew, coached by George Carl. You remember that, all right? You've interviewed George Carl before. You that interviewed Larry a... Brown before. You know, ask Larry, ask Larry Brown what Allen Iverson was. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Now, John Morant is a transcendent player, and I think that ultimately he can be that. But what I'm saying is the skill set, the fervor, his willingness to attack, he is very Allen Iverson-like except bigger. He's bigger. So don't give me, but don't sit up there and try to joke, throw shade on Allen Iverson. Six foot guard, okay? 160 pounds soaking oh, we, wet. Oh, we and his it. brother going up against giants every day and doing uh. what he did. You lost your mind? Oh, Have you lost on, your I, mind? I know you covered him, but I mean, take it easy. I mean, my goodness. We on the You're talking about my little brother. You're talking about my little brother here. I get it. He's excuse, a excuse hell of a player. Excuse excuse we don't argue excuse that, but you put him on these excuse levels me. that are ridiculous. Wes was the MVP excuse of an NBA final. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ask them. Ask the super. Ask the superstars. Ask the superstars what level they put Allen Iverson on. Well, they played mean against right, them. Steven. Ask them. Well, that mean they're right. Ask them. They, I they, can't that doesn't mean they're right. That doesn't mean you're right. Why do mean you're right? You're I not mean, right. I, have an I don't give a damn. You and your dog. You and your dog pound. You How and your dog pound. Y'all can try that all you want to. It will work. Steve, how many finals did he play in? What? One. How many he games in one. the finals? How many games in the finals did he win? The one he played in. One. One. So Against Jack and Kobe with Jack and his prime. Finals? How many conference what? finals did he play in? One. So we are going to put a guy who okay. played in one NBA final and got annihilated by the Lakers. Granted, much better. And we oh, are come going on, man. To come on. Hold on. So we so we're gonna ignore the 48 he dropped in game one. We're gonna ignore the 48 he dropped in game one. We're gonna ignore how dominant Shaq was and how Shaq delivered that championship. Nobody on the planet could stop Shaquille O'Neal. Come on, doggy. Well, you well, can't I mean, do you that. Have center, Steve. I, I mean, I'm a god. I mean, they have any centers. You know, Wilton and playing out here, Shaq beat nobody. There was no Jason Collins for the Nets. There was no centers in the NBA in those days. You know that. You're better than that. You're better than that.
You're better than that. But I'm you want to put I am say, but see, this is what this I'm what saying me Shaq couldn't be stopped. This is what drives so me crazy. So now we disrespect the Shaq now. Now we disrespect the Shaq now. We're saying Shaq didn't have any competition. You guys are putting these people on these are ridiculous you sure? levels. West, I mean, West Shaq Adams. is up there. Allen Iverson is all of it, but Shaq is up there. Shaq Iverson. is up there as the second most dominant big man in the history of basketball. Oh, no, behind not. Will Chamberlain. Oh, no, is that not, not true? No, he's uh, I named five what? centers. I named five <laughs> oh, centers right now. Oh, my I'll God. I named what? five centers. Hold on now. You yeah, asked me a question. Can I talk? I name five centers right now. Who, if you're asking me if I take in a big spot and in a season, I take Malone, Elijah Wan, Will, Kareem. Who's my fifth? I got on Russell. I almost uh -huh. forgot. I like forget uh -huh. Bill Russell. Well, I'm about, talking to you so much. I forget about Russell, Kareem, Will, Elijah Wan, Malone. They, Shaq is not as good as those guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold Sorry. Hold on, hold on, Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold it. I will hold it, I will stand. Hold it, Tommy. I will stand down. First of all, you missed a couple. When you talk about conversations, often you talk about Bill Russell, the ultimate champion, the eleven-time champions. You're talking about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, all-time leading scorer, 19-time All-Star, six championships, six league MVPs. We get that, right? Hell, Olajuwon's got two chips. Bill Walton's got a couple of chips, even though the second one came with Boston, with Bird, and Parrish, and all That's of those another boys. One. I forgot. I am telling you right now, I, I, I said dominance. I wasn't talking about, oh, my goodness, he was better. He certainly wasn't a better free throw shooter, for example. There were times. Look, but the bottom line is this. When you talk about dominant big men, dominant big men, there's Will Chamberlain and there's Shaquille O'Neal. Who would refute that? Other than Doggy. Who would refute that other than Doggy? Give me some Nobody. centers that the one what? time he played against Elijah when he got swept. Was he dominant He's a in that time champion. He got swept. Excuse me? When he what? went against what? Elijah when he got swept. You forget so what? that? He got He's swept. Young. He's young. I'm no, I forget it. I tell you I forget it. Else. I'm going to bother you some oh more. Oh, my God. I'm going to bother this, you some more. I can't believe this the other words coming out of your mouth. This is before you were born. You were a little bouncing around Queens. With your little nookie. This is before you were born. You know who's the best center that I ever saw play in a one season? And you're going to laugh. You're going to say you're nuts. I saw all the games. You know who the best one was? Walton. 76, 77 Trailblazers. Go look it up. Yes. Tom, 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 Tom. Hold on, hold on. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. David Twardzik. Stop. Johnny stop. Johnny because let so me talk. Let me spin. Bobby David. I did let you talk. Gross. Your mouth, big listen, spot. Listen. I have a listen, song. Listen. How's that? How's that? Okay. Time out, time out, time out. Let me say this to you because you didn't know I knew this. All right? You had Dr. J, you had McGinnis, you had all of those boys, and it wasn't enough. They were up 2 0, and then Bill Walton and Maurice Lucas and Lionel Hollins and the Portland Trailblazers came back and won four straight. I remember, damn it. Okay? I'm not a fool. I watched those games because I was rooting for Dr. J, and it didn't happen. See, you thought you was the only one that knew that. I knew that too. And Bill Walton was absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. I got it. But what I said to you was this. I'm talking about brute power, mass, strength, unstoppable in the low post. What a big man prototypically is supposed to be. The most dominant big man in the history of the game was Will Chamberlain. And number two was Shaquille O'Neal. Everybody knows that. He's a four-time champion. Walton's got two. Elijah Wan's got two. Okay, Moses Malone, he's got one. He lost the bird in them when he was in Houston. Twin Towers, him and Ralph Sampson. You remember that? But he lost, didn't he? The bottom line is this. He had to go to Philadelphia to win the chip. Let's not forget that. I respect the hell out of Moses Malone. God rest his soul. But when you talk about Shaquille O'Neal, Moses Malone was unstoppable in the low post, and he was a, a just devout rebounder. But he wasn't a great defensive player. And let me tell you something right now. Will Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, one and two in terms of dominance. And Allen Iverson, when you talk about John Morant, John God, Morant damn. is going to be everything you said because Allen Iverson preceded him. You respect the oh people who gosh. paved the way before you. Period. Oh. Allen Iverson, Shaquille O'Neal. He's giving the, you a history. This is first take. You, you should not your be your He's blast telling you to on. pay attention you're to players. your history. You're better than that. Yeah. You're better. Go ahead. No. Hey, tell me to shut up. Please. Short term. Oh, yeah, he that's know, it. He, I was, Molly, I was he just didn't enjoying know, the moment. Molly, he didn't know I knew that. Go look.
he didn't know I knew that, Molly. Albus. He didn't know I knew that about Bill yeah, Walton. Yeah, go look at the billboards. Go so, watch no, 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 Sullivan in 56. Yeah. Let's no, go. Yeah. Those billboards. Those, those billboards are, are coming Elvis. down. John Moran billboards are going up. Wednesday. And that means somebody on this show is likely doing a list. Is it an A list or it is a mad dog list? A doggy list. We're ranking the all.